Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving some quick solutions for those out there that are having trouble setting up the OG stretched resolution. If this video does help you out, then be sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and use Code Life in the Fortnite item shop when you do purchase any skins. As by doing that, you'll be helping me out a ton, and it really is appreciated. As well as that, guys, if none of my solutions here do fix your problem, be sure to leave your problem in the comment section below, and I myself or some of my viewers will help Help you out now let's get straight into it firstly before we do start i do just want to say that the og stretched resolution is still in the game today the date is the 24th of february and it's still in the game and to be honest it's been that long guys i think it'll be in the game for a little while longer if epic games were that mad about it i'd imagine that they would have patched it by now it is though still completely playable you can play it in creative public games and arena like all game modes saying that though i am not 100 percent sure if it is bannable or not epic games haven't came out yet and said either if it is allowed or if it's disallowed so on that i am unsure so i would recommend that you all play it at your own risk in my opinion if epic games did have a problem with the og stretched resolution i honestly think that they would have patched it before even considering to ban anyone like no one yet has been banned if they have if they put it on twitter it is just a troll but really if you do think about it all we're doing here is playing stretched resolution which is allowed and we're literally just watching a cutscene slash cinematic it's not like we've went out there and downloaded an fov slider or any sort of cheat we've literally just done something that's allowed and watched a cinematic epic games really could patch it very easily if they did want to so overall i wouldn't worry about getting banned in my opinion but again play it at your own risk now though guys after quickly talking about that let's now take a look at some problems and some solutions for them problems so after you guys have gone ahead and watched either one of my recent tutorials links to these are below by the way if you haven't seen them yet it is super important that you do watch those two tutorials before you watch this one after watching those though it is possible that stretched resolution might not work for you the first issue that you might get is your fov might look really narrow and zoomed in the reason for this issue is because you are still on the older nerf stretched resolution and not the new og stretched resolution that everyone's playing right now for those that don't know the difference this is the nerfed one and this is the OG stretched resolution everyone's been playing recently. If you are currently on the first one, that's the nerfed one, it does mean that you have done something wrong when doing the steps. This means that in order to fix that, you do have to unfortunately redo all of these steps. And when you do redo all of these steps, make sure that that cinematic does indeed play. If that cinematic doesn't play, it means that you can't do the trick to get the OG stretched res. If the cinematic has never played for you, don't worry. And if it has played once and you want it to play again, don't worry, it's possible to make it play and make it play again and again. All you guys have to do is this little trick right here. You want to head over to your game user settings config file and edit it. But before you do go ahead and edit it though, you need to make sure that the read only box in its properties is unchecked. Once you've done that, head into the file and you want to find this bit of text right here. You want to set the value on the end of this text to zero instead of one. Just set that to zero, save the file, close it down, then retick the read only box in the properties. And once you've done that, you're good to go. Just open up Fortnite, follow every step of the trick. The cutscene should then run every single time. If it doesn't, which I do highly doubt as this is a pretty good trick, there are two other fixes. The first is to rename the Fortnite game folder. To do this, just find the folder, rename it to something like Fortnite Game 1. Once that's done, follow all the steps again, close Fortnite, open Fortnite, and when you do the trick, the cutscene should play. If it still doesn't, guys, which by this time, I do highly doubt, there is one more last thing that you can do, which will 100% make sure that the cutscene does play and that is to verify your files in the epic games launcher to do this head over to the launcher find fortnite press the three dots and click verify after doing all of that the og stretched resolution should be working it is still possible though that you do encounter some more issues which one of them is black bars these are just black bars that appear on each side of your game when playing to fix and remove these it's simple just head over to your nvidia control panel click on the adjust desktop size and positioning tab and set the scaling mode to full screen if it's on aspect ratio that will make it so you have black bars so when you do set it to full screen 
screen, it'll make it so you no longer have those black bars. Another issue that you may get is your game might be stuck in Windows full screen. To fix this, you want to rename the Fortnite game folder, just like we did earlier. And after doing that, when you open up Fortnite, you want to set the game to full screen, 1920 by 1080 in the graphics settings. Once you've done that, close the game, and after that, just simply redo all of the steps again, and Fortnite will run in full screen, not in windowed full screen mode. And yeah, that's a few fixes for a few common issues I've been seeing people get with the OG stretched resolution. I'm hoping that this video did help you all out. If it did, be sure to let me know by leaving a like on it, subscribing to the channel, and using Code Life in the Fortnite item shop. Also guys, if your issue still is not fixed after all of these solutions, be sure to leave it in the comments below, and I'll help you out the best I can. That is all from me today though, thank you all so much for watching, hope you all have a great day, peace.